So in this video, we're going to be looking at the Starship Generator, and we're just going to be creating a whole bunch of capital ships and so on, larger ones, very quickly, very simply, and let's kind of have a play with it. So this add-on was created by Mark's Kingsnorth, amazing add-on builder, love the dude, and he's put this one together. Now to use it, once you've installed it, Shift A, Mesh, Starship, and there we go, it's created variations. Down the bottom here, we've got the seeds, and we can just change the seeds to something that we like. Ooh, actually, that was a good one. Uh, but that'll work as well. If we come over into the modifiers, we can see that we've got a whole bunch of modifiers that we can work with. So if I just go into material mode um, and we turn on the boosters, so we can see that in the viewport, you'll see that it will throw in a booster with already a material. However, there is stuff that we can do. So for instance, I don't want any small objects. I just want the big stuff. Maybe I just want, I uh, don't want the big stuff and that'll change it around. Obviously, you can see now there's a cube thrown in. Um, we can turn off the panels. Obviously, the boosters we turned on. But under each one, we can obviously go in and change the densities and scales, so on and so forth. So if we were to go maybe uh, 0.8, we can see how we can individually start looking at the pieces. So big, medium, or small. Let's maybe go 0.6 on this one. Let's just change the whole like a layout of the ship. And this is really good for getting a ship very quickly. But I mean, obviously it looks a little bit bland at the moment. So let's go ahead and throw on a material. Mark has set this up for you already. So over in shading, and you can see that there's a wonderful node set up already. Now this add-on does work best in cycles. And we'll just change that to GPU 32. So now if we go into rendered mode, you can see what it is looking like. Now we can come in and we can throw on the windows. So I can just press M to mute. If you start uh, moving things around and it's not working, come over into the modifiers, check the material, and you'll see that we're actually looking at a different material. So let's jump over to Starship Material 001. And now if we were to unmute this one, you can see that now it's applied lighting to the ship. I mean, that's pretty cool. And obviously we can come in and we can change some of the features in here. So for instance, I want some more lighting and there's plenty of things, there's plenty of stuff how we can work on that to refine it. Now with the materials world, this bit only works in cycles. Uh, let me just turn off the lighting. If I turn on our displacement, you can see now how it's added in a whole bunch of extra detail to the ship. Now close up, this doesn't look the best, but creating ships from afar or you know creating a fleet, my goodness, beautiful. It's also a good way to randomize what the ship is gonna look like. And if you wanna build onto your own ship, you can kind of take certain ele elements and ideas and build it up for yourself. Now on the Blend Market website, if we scroll down, we can see there is a big list of tutorial videos on actually how to use the add-on. So make sure you go check that out, read the documentation, so on and so forth. But make sure you go check this one out. And uh, hey, mate.